looks like they're following us. Look. They are, they're following us. <laughs> Yeah, they were up here getting a snack. Barbecuing and taking care of the plants today. Thank you, Grill Master. Okay, now I think I have everything on there that I need. Oh wait, <laughs> every time I turn around and look at my bed where I have said everything, I keep finding something. There's my water bottle. Okay, so now I have all my tools and everything at my fingertips, everything I need when I'm working. And so see, here's all my books in progress, but see the space? So that's much better, the light from the window. This actually gets me excited um, to do some more art journaling.
kids get sequin crazy this morning. Oh, I already have paint all over my desk. Oi, 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 oi. Let's see what we can do on here. color any color this is what I got today just pretty I actually thrifted these so this little tray of gorgeousness having fun with all right we got another inchy so I found the culprit apparently I laid my glue <laughs> in the paint So the other day, I had a, like a song stuck in my head. Do you ever wake up with a song and you're like, where did that even come from? It just should have been my brain. And it was that song. Why is this sticking up? Oh, I think it's the clothes you're poking through. Anyway, do you guys remember that song? Um, it's been a hot minute. Uh, it's called, What Does the Fox Say? Do you remember that? I woke up with that in my brain. Seriously, who does that? Anyway, so of course today, uh, I'm going to add a fox to my inchy because I have to now. <laughs> I have to now. Maybe we'll find some bling to put next to him or around him. Let's put him off to the side and we'll add some bling to the side. Do you guys remember that song? I haven't even heard it recently. I just don't even know what that's about. <laughs> oh, you know, I gotta find some bling here. Found something. Yeah. What kind of songs have you had stuck in your head lately? <laughs> I gotta reinforce this stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's add some reinforcements. Well, you know what? Let's go around. Let's go around the whole thing. What do you think? Let's do it. I'm gonna need to cut one more of these.
actually this one might be a tad long because I'm going to go over the edge, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll trim it off later. When it's dry. Which means all of these are going to be... Well, that's cool. And we'll have a little extra, like a little blingy bling we can add to another little inchy. Put that aside. Take one off of here. See if we can. Oops, that one's even shorter because, duh, there's one on each side. Scoot over. All right, now we got a foxy little fox. Foxy! I have a little, um, craft desk tour for you this morning. I cleaned it up recently um, because I moved it to a different part of my house where it could be next to a window. And I am crazy in love with it. So um, I finally got a bunch of stuff that I've been working with um, over the last week since I've moved it. And I'm kind of getting into a new rhythm and I added an extra little, see that little white piece on the back? That was uh, thrifted a while back. And um, it's now a part of my desk, which has really added a lot of additional space. Because I can keep paints and stuff underneath it, and it's out of my way. And it's actually freed up more workspace. So um, I've got all of my tools that I like to use on the top in my little caddies and jars, and uh, it's really working out. I've got a place for my stickles, and my pens, and my scissors, and my paintbrushes, and the uh, stamp pad, and date stamp that I use all the time, and then the current books that I'm working in. Uh, it's working out pretty good. I'm even able to have, let me see if I can pan this around, my, oops, sorry, my fan over here, which is really nice, because it's got to be on, like, all the time. Uh, so, yeah, I'm getting a lot more light to work with. Um, I'm trying to make myself pick it up at the end of each day. I have a really tiny space that I live in, and so my my workspace is pretty small. But I'm doing a really good job um, kind of keeping it together lately. It's not going to last. I cleaned this up so you could see it. <laughs> But I'm feeling much more better about this situation. Um, I feel like I can actually cut loose and get messy. Um, but not be like ripping my hair out. Because I know sometimes I'm making videos and I'm like, where's my glue? Where's my scissors? I make myself crazy. And I'm sure that's still going to happen. But hey, this is a step in the right direction, right? <laughs> a girl can hope, right? Okay, I've got something I've been wanting to show you that I thrifted a couple months ago. And uh, it has really come in handy. When I first got it, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. But I knew it was going to be useful. It's like a little, like a little feeding tray. Maybe for like chickens or something. Or I don't know. Is that what this is? Like a little feeder kind of thing. But I don't know if it's a, a replica or if it was an actual feeder. I'm not sure. But I, it was in great condition. Of course, I cleaned it up when I got it home. And I am a stickle maniac. I stickle like everything. 
and I have a ton of them. And, you know, anybody who works with stickles knows they work so much better if they're upside down. And look at this. The colors that I'm currently working with just sit right in there. Isn't that fantastic? I mean, it's so fantastic. And then the other thing that I love is I'll keep my adhesive in here, but my favorite adhesive when I'm working, we all know what a pain in the butt tacky glue can be, right? Look at that. I'll keep it sitting in there, ready to go. So hopefully it won't be like freaking out about where's my glue, where's my glue. Hopefully it'll be just right here, sticking out of this, right on top of this shelf. Um, where I can get to it. All right, I thought I would show you a more close-up of what I've got going on over here. Um, this, see how it's got these, these three compartments right through here? This is wonderful. Let me show you. So this right here is where I'm keeping my paints that I'm working with. And I just figured out the best way to be able to get them in and out of there, you know, without constantly, I was going in and out and like digging through the paint, trying to see which one I wanted to use. And I thought, man, I wish I just had something to put them on that I could slide in and out. Well, then I remembered I have my little um, cutting board that I use, it's a glass. I think it's supposed to be like a little cutting board from the dollar store and I use it you know for dabbing paint off and on and look at that it's the perfect perfect size to stick the paint on and slide it back and forth and then this morning I figured out that even my little water jar fits on there perfectly as well. And then Mama, she can just be doing that. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Right, right at my fingertips. Right at my fingertips. So I am loving that. I'm going to do a little adjustment here. Right in here, I have my bowl, you know, I'm doing inches, an inchy every single day for a year for 2020. And look, we've got a whole nother batch for March. We're just about done here for March. Get those in the book. And these are teeny tiny um, alphabet stamps that I use quite regularly. So those fit right in there too. And then I've got uh, just a punch back there that I use for my inchies. And let's see, in the third little bay, I right now I just have um, painting stuff. Some drop paper. This is from, whoops, when I was working on inchies. And I've been doing, um, I've got a sewing project I've been doing. So, I've got like little sewing things, my pin cushion and embroidery floss and things like that sitting right here. So let me zip up to the top here and I'll show you what I got going on up here. This is my little spinning caddy that I keep all of my paintbrushes in and all of my uh, different tools that I use for painting. All of my different spatulas, um, my dropper, all of my tools are in here. Uh, all my paintbrushes, I have a, a heck ton of paintbrushes, my metal ruler, got my little punch right here, some clips. Primarily though I use it for my painting tools, my paintbrushes. So that's in that one, and then this is a barrage of uh, different things, scissors, my ink tenses, colored, uh, some prismas that I use regularly, um, those kinds of um, artful 
things that I like to use. Oops, this needs to go. That needs to actually go over there. Um, so that's in that one. I've had this for like probably 25, 30 years. This little wicker doodad. I just love it so much. This is a little L mug that my son found at a craft store one day, maybe a year or two ago. So we snagged that and it holds all of my pens. Um, all of my favorite pens that I like to collect. And uh, those mostly go in here. This is a very special comb that belonged to my grandmother that has a very special story attached to it that has to do with my son when he was an itty bitty boy. And uh, this is my, uh, I keep my crystal up here. This is my, uh, my navy blue ink pad that I use all the time. My date stamp I use every day glue, but this right here is extra special. Um, when my son went to Hawaii last year, he brought this back for me. Isn't this cute? So I keep um, pens and different things in here as well. So I just love it so much. Isn't that sweet? That was so thoughtful of him. And then of course, I showed you the amazing little stickle folder. And then let me just show you what I've got over here. And let's see if I can do a little adjustment here. Sorry for the herky jerky. And then over here, um, this is like a two, this is something that I thrifted a couple years ago actually. So I think it's for papers. It's like a little bamboo wicker thingy. But I keep whatever tube paints I'm working with at the moment in here. I've got a little calendar book in here. Uh, whatever I'm working on, different things I'm working on in here. Um, and then underneath, here's a stamp I'm working with. But, and then underneath I keep this box. And in here there's collage pieces, magazine images I've cut out that I'm going to use at some point. I like to keep those close. So yeah, there's, there's a pile of my stuff and uh, so far I'm really liking this. We'll see how long it lasts. You know how that is. It lasts for about what, 24 hours before things get crazy. Be safe little dogs.